Welcome back to Living 808. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we're talking all about it and learning more with Monique Ibarra, Chief Executive Officer of the Domestic Violence Action Center, and Lucita Aninihoa, mother of a victim. Aloha, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Aloha. Thank you for having us. All right, now, before we talk about your story, let's talk about the month itself. Why is Domestic Violence Awareness Month so important? You know, it, it's, it's important because domestic violence is something that's complex that happens in our communities, and we recognize it annually during this month, and we have many events that are set up to help the community to know what domestic violence is about. Not just that, but that there's resources and that there's help available to our community members who might be involved in an abusive relationship. And you guys have a candlelight vigil coming up. Um, can you share a bit about that and, and the importance of it? The candlelight vigil is just one of the events that we're having for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and it's important for us to remember and honor uh, victims of domestic violence. And unfortunately, of course, your family was affected. Can you share a bit about your story and your beautiful daughter? Uh, he, yes, my daughter, uh, Teresa Pachuelo. It's okay. Uh, like my daughter, Teresa Cachuela, who was abused by her, um, her husband, who ultimately took her life. Um, it hits home for me because she didn't deserve that. And we want to remember and honor her. Um, we want to um, say her name <laughs> um, and fight for our current and future lives, you know. Um, the candlelight is <laughs> the candlelight vigil. The candlelight vigil um, is so important uh, for us to honor them that way. Well, and thank you so much for sharing your story. I know it obviously is very personal, but this is really helpful to so many other families because I think a lot of women and men that are in situations, you know, they think, well, maybe it's not that bad, right? And it just goes to show that these tragic events do happen. And so can you share maybe a bit about what you've learned that people should be looking out for? Well, abuse come in any forms or shape. You know, it, it doesn't only identify physical and, um, well, it doesn't only identify physical abuse. It identifies emotional, um, even spiritual sometimes, you know. And people who just, afraid, you know, scared to speak up because of basically the stigma, the stigma that people, you know, say, oh, she's only going to go back, you know, she, um, and then for the victim, they're like, you know, um, it comes in. Yeah, they may not know where to go. They may right. not know where to get help. They may not know who to reach out to. They're afraid, basically, afraid to leave their their home because there's no, there's not a lot of resources out there that um, help them, um, I guess, try and move forward because there's a lot that, there's a lot of com complexity in it, right? So um, we just want to know, we just want to let them know that there are uh, people they, they can speak to, um, to find the, res you know, just finding the right resources. I know sometimes we get one door shut. There's always many more doors op that can be open for them, you know, but it's just being con uh, persistent in what to do. And of course, Monique, that's where you also can come in. So can you share where folks that are looking for help can go? Absolutely. You know, what, one thing I want everyone to remember is Domestic Violence Awareness Month is one month out of the year, but domestic violence happens every single day out of the year. And there's help and hope available to those who need it. One is to call our domestic violence uh, helpline at 808-531-3771. Call the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence or reach out to other nonprofit organizations that help victims of domestic violence. They can also reach out to other social service providers who have resources. And there's even help for men who use violence against their families as well. 
wonderful. And of course, the links to your website will have on our website as well at kh12.com. Yes. But thank you so much for all that you do. And thank you so much for sharing your story. I know it's such a difficult thing to speak about, but something that we need to speak about because yes. so many families are affected and, and need the help. So we really appreciate all that you guys do.